Hello everybody, All Night Gamer Guy here. I'm back to playing more Yu-Gi-Oh! And we are continuing playing as the opponents. And we are going to choose... Actually, I made up... I just finished my new deck. Last night. I was just trying to perfect it a little bit. It is uh, the Malefic World deck. Or simply titled Malefic. Malefic. I should have just put in the word world. But... Oh, well. All right, let's see what we got here. Unfortunately, though, I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage because the Malefic World card is absolutely needed for this duel. So I'm going to send all these cards back to my hand, draw new ones. Yes! Okay, so now... We're going to play this and get the Malefic World Field Spell card, which we are going to need during this duel. And yes, and yeah, I had to put three copies in because this Field Spell card will get destroyed, and no doubt in my mind. So I'm going to play Malefic World, Soul Absorption, and place one card face down. And unfortunately, I don't have a Malefic Monster in my hand. I should have kept one in my hand, but oh well. I'll take the hit. And the reason why I put Soul Absorption in my deck, in case you guys were wondering, is because the only way to summon a Malefic Monster is to send the original copy of the monster and remove it from play, or banish it. So, that's why. So I might as well get some extra life points while I was at it. Okay, so I'm going to choose... Thanks to Malefic World, I get to choose three Malefic Monsters or Malefic cards from my deck and have them straight to my hand. So I'm going to choose these three Malefic monsters. Malefic Rainbow Dragon, Malefic Claw Storm, and Malefic Exciberan Dragon. Okay, he, and he had to choose the card. He had to choose the card, so I'll put this one face down. Unfortunately, this card can only be activated if you have a Malefic Monster on the field. The big downside to having a Malefic Monster is, is you can only have one Malefic Monster on the field. You know, so, if you've ever seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie involving the three duelists involving Yugi, Jaden, and Yusei, Hey, if you ever saw that movie involving them, those three dueling against, against an opponent named Paradox, Paradox, I I like that movie. I really do. I did have the DVD, but uh, not anymore, unfortunately. But I was going through a weird time when it involved Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, should I keep it? Should I not? And, you know, it was one of those weird times. But those weird times are over, so it's whatever. That's what I say. It's whatever. And yes, he, I, now I get to summon it. I send Blue Eyes White Dragon, banish it, and then I could summon Malefic Blue Eyes White Dragon. Thanks to my spell card, I can activate... I can get 500 life points back, not to mention I get to activate this trap card, Malefic Claw Storm. This will automatically destroy a monster on my opponent's side of the field. I get 500 life points, and now I get to deal damage. Unless he's got a Mirror Force Trap card. He's got a spell. Okay, he's got Spellbinding Circle. Okay. I guess I'll end my turn. And like I said, if you read the... this, There can only be one Malefic Monster on the field, which kind of sucks. So, forget what you probably saw in the movie, because this... Because they made these... Since these cards are overpowering... They don't want this deck to be so overpowered that they have to ban it. And, and it's totally understandable. I think I'll get another other Malefic World and Malefic Gear. And Malefic Gear is a very powerful tuner monster, actually. Because as when this card... 
it's a very powerful tuner monster because if I place it on the field by itself and I have a Malefic Stardust Dragon in my hand, I can Synchro Summon and from the field and hand to summon this monster right here, Malefic Phoenix Dragon. Or I know it's not Phoenix Dragon, I totally said that name wrong. I know it. Okay, well, this is the only problem with this deck. So unless Yugi destroys it, this monster, this is the only monster I can use. I don't, I don't think I'll skip my draw phase this time. See, it won't let me summon. I know what Yugi's doing. He's building up his monsters. Okay, this is a good card to have, but unfortunately, I'm not going to use it just yet. I'm just going to skip my turn. Oh, come on, Yugi. Summon your Dark Magician. Use a, the Magic card. I know you have it. Dark Burning Attack. I know you have that card, Yugi. I know you do. Or maybe he'll use Horn of the Unicorn. Either way, this blue eyes needs to be destroyed. Oh ho! Maybe not. Okay, I activate Burial. Oh, from the different dimension. Now I can return one remove monster. Is there um, one banished monster, or at least up to three banished monsters, and return it to my graveyard. This now I can activate this monster reborn, and I'll bring back my original blue eyes. Okay, I guess I can't attack. Let's see here. Other monsters cannot direct attack like while they're face up on the field. Okay, I screwed up there, but at least Yugi can't do anything. And I can't either, which this is a boring duel. This is officially a boring duel. Actually, there is something I could do. I activate my trap card. Another copy of... A Malefic Claw Storm, and I'll use it on Summon Skull. And then I'll sacrifice as my two blue eyes to summon red eyes. Oh, yes, there he is. That's fine. All right, this gives me the opportunity. To special summon. So I'll send Cyber End Dragon from my extra deck and banish it to summon Malefic Cyber End Dragon. All right. That's fine. Go ahead and attack me. Instead of drawing, I activate Malefic World's ability. Now I take three cards. My opponent chooses. And I can either give it to my hand or on the field. Uh, no, it's straight to the hand. Okay, so that works. Now I can summon Malefic Paradox Gear. And due to his special ability, I can Synchro Summon. Using 
the Malefic Stardust Dragon and my gear. Now I can summon my Synchro Monster. Look at that. Now he can deal some damage. Nice. I'll just keep attacking. I'm turning this duel around. I activate my face down spirit barrier. Personal favorite of mine. Now my dragon will continue attacking until... Okay, he did that. That's fine. No, I'm perfectly fine with that. I lose. Oh, that stinks. That stinks. Oh, well. This tells me I need a little more work on this Malefic deck. You know what? We're going to try the Malefic deck again. Since it is the newest deck, I'm going to give it another chance, and then if I lose again, then it just tells me I need to work on it again. Nice. I activate Soul Absorption, then Malefic World. Dark Bribe. Uh, no, I shouldn't have said it out loud. Oh, well. It's a good thing I'm not going up against an opponent. Then I summon Malefic Gear. Which, unfortunately, I cannot Synchro Summon because it is not... <clears throat> it's not a Malefic Monster. There's I don't have a Malefic Monster in my hand, which sucks. I activate Mirror Force. Get rid of all the monsters on the field. Alright, so I'm going to choose... Where is it? Where's the other one? There you are. I'm going to choose these monsters. Now I'll Synchro Summon. Get my dragon on the field. Even though he might be destroyed by Mirror Force. Or not. Now I activate Dark Bribe. I choose three Malefic cards, but this one's going to be an obvious one. I'm going to just choose three copies of the same trap card. I'll place it face down. And I'll attack directly, ending the duel. Okay, so that's one. <clears throat> we got time for one more duel, and this time I'm going to be choosing... Yeah, why not? I'll use the... You know what? I haven't used the Gravekeeper deck in a while. Let's, let's do the Gravekeeper deck. <clears throat> Seeker. 
You know, I don't think they ever said his name in the anime. During the first matchup, Battle City. I mean, technically, Joey had the first duel against the Rare Hunter, but it wasn't a Battle City first duel, so... Yeah. Alright, I activate in my space spell card so I can get Necro Valley on the field, which I will waste no time activating. And I will put a few cards face down. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm gonna remove my whole hand by putting cards face down. Except for this one. I will put Swords of Revealing Light face up, and then I'll end my turn. Oh, how dare you. How dare you. You made a lucky choice. Oh, you're gonna summon... You've... The Flying Mythical Beast. That monster has a good ability when it's destroyed in battle. <clears throat> when it's destroyed in battle, it can summon back either Chimera, the King of Mythical Beasts, or Burfamat. So that's a good card to have. I summon my Gravekeeper, the Priestess. And now she will attack the Mythical Beast. Okay, I don't know why his ability did not activate. That's weird. Maybe it's an ability he can activate whenever he wants. Nope, I activate Dark Bribe. If he activates another Swords of Revealing Light, that would irritate me. Because most of the time, my opponent would have like more copies of it. Actually, I summon another copy of my Gravekeeper Spiritualist. She will attack. And she will attack again. Okay, so... Hey, <laughs> Okay, this one was an easy duel, I guess. Okay. Well, next time we're going up against... <clears throat> oh, what's his name? Arcana, that's his name. In the, the Master of the Magicians... Actually, I should make a Dark Magician deck. I'll think about it. But yeah, we'll be playing as him against Yugi Moto. Yeah, most of these duels are just going to involve Yugi, Joey, Yugi, Joey, Yugi, Joey, sometimes Kaiba. By the way, though, um, so we got one loss and two wins in this video. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And um, I might make a Dark Magician deck. I think I have enough cards. F spellcaster cards to make that happen so maybe later today or maybe right now who knows but still regardless thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoy i will see you in the next video all night gamer guy out